this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from SL1955. And SL1955 has a question which comes from my video First Degree Lessons. And the question is this. In the chapter on stones, I remark that certain stones have become rare. And SL1955 asks, do I mean that the physical stone itself has become rare, or that it has become rare for people to use it today? And the answer to this is no, I mean the physical stone has become rare, although in some cases that has changed since the lessons were written. Stones come out of the earth. They come from mines. They have a finite supply. There's only so much of them, and in fact, the nature of the stone can change from one mine to another. And in some stones, this is very obvious, and others not so much. Obviously, the more common a stone is, the easier it is to get, the lower the price will be. Those stones that are very rare will cost more, and some are very costly indeed. But in metaphysics, we mostly use those that are not particularly costly and are very plentiful in the earth. However, when lots and lots of people use a stone, the supply of that stone can dry up. And this does occasionally happen to those stones that we tend to use in metaphysics. At the time that I wrote the lessons, lapis lazuli was an example of this. When I was very young, lapis lazuli was very plentiful, not particularly costly, and very commonly used in metaphysics. But it was so widely used and so heavily used that it became rather rare. And when you could find it, if you could find it, it was very expensive. And this is because the sources of the stone had been largely used up. Now, after a time, new sources were found, and once again, lapis lazuli became a common stone, and you can find it quite easily today, and at a reasonable price. But when I wrote the lessons, that was not the case. So I referred to lapis lazuli as having become rare, because at that time it was. And perhaps again, in the future, it may be as well. Currently, it is not. But all of these stones do have a finite supply, which means they can become rare, in which case they will become more costly and harder to find. This is also one of the reasons that you will often find that stones are being sold under the names of familiar stones, which are actually not really those stones. They may be more common stones that have been dyed. They may be synthetic. So you have to pay some attention to what you're buying because it isn't always what it's labeled. And this is because some of those stones simply are not that common now and can be quite costly. And lower priced alternatives are often offered. And if you are not sufficiently familiar with stones to recognize these, the best thing to do is to seek out a reputable purveyor of stones and seek their guidance. So these would be my thoughts on the matter. I hope you find them helpful. And until next time, may you bless it be. Pray for peace, pray for love, pray for stability, pray for the nation where you live, pray for the world. Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you for Pagans Tonight Radio. Pagans Tonight Radio is an online radio network with different hosts and different shows seven nights a week. There's something for every taste, including Spanish language programming on Saturday evening. Check out pagansdenight.com today.